Hi, I'm Jeffrey. Once again, Kraft Kitchens lends its culinary twist to a classic dish. I'm creating Italiano ravioli with two spectacular sauces, a savory tomato and bacon sauce and a tomato cream sauce made to perfection with Philadelphia cream cheese. Today, I'll show you how to make the tomato cream sauce. Let's mix the cheese mixture. First, mix together beaten eggs and Palio original ricotta cheese. Next, we're taking our Kraft finely shredded Italian five cheese blend. That's gonna give the creamy rich ricotta a nice bright sharpness. And we're gonna mix that together. Are you ready for the ravioli? Stop holding your breath, this is easy. See, I'm using these wonton wrappers instead of homemade pasta. These wrappers make this dish a breeze. The dough of the wonton, very similar to a ravioli, tender, flexible, but a lot easier. This is how you assemble the ravioli. First, brush the edges of the wonton wrapper with the egg yolks. You wanna brush two sides of the wrapper with the egg yolk. Then spoon some of the cheese mixture onto the center. Once you have the cheese mixture in, I'm just gonna fold this wrapper diagonally in half. Be sure to press the edges so that you seal the edges and get the air out, and then you'll get a nice seal. You can freeze uncooked ravioli using freezer weight resealable plastic bags. Just make sure you lay them flat in the bag so that they don't stick together, and up to three months in the freezer, and then just thaw them out when you're ready to cook them. Once you're ready to cook the ravioli, simply boil in batches for two or three minutes or until they begin to float to the top. To create the tomato cream sauce, I've started by heating some Kraft Tuscan House Italian dressing and marinade in my skillet on medium high heat. Now I'm gonna add some chopped plum tomatoes and then I'll add some onions. Now we're gonna stir that together and we're gonna let that cook for about five to six minutes until the onions are soft and sweet and the tomatoes absorb the dressing. Now that the onions are tender, I've added some fat-free reduced sodium chicken broth and now I'm gonna add some Philadelphia cream cheese cut into cubes. And it's good to cut these into cubes, that way it'll melt evenly into the sauce and it'll really coat the raviolis with the creamy texture of the cream cheese. I'm gonna stir this frequently for about three minutes. Now that the cream cheese has melted into a perfectly creamy sauce, I can gently stir in my Italiano ravioli. You wanna gently move these around so they get evenly coated. We're gonna let this simmer for about two to three minutes until it heats through and has absorbed the sauce. You can also try our tomato and bacon sauce using Oscar Mayer bacon. The sweetness of the tomato and the savory of the bacon makes this sauce extra special. Now I just need to plate this. Now, almost finished, I just need to top this dish with some chopped fresh parsley. This is truly a dish of deliciousness. Our tomato cream sauce and tomato and bacon sauce pair exceptionally well with our easy to make Italiano ravioli. Both sauces burst with brilliant flavors, hints of Italian cuisine, buon appetito. For more Philly cream cheese recipes, search keyword Philly on craftfoods.com.